Hey guys. Oh, wow, I'm not in screen. Um, so I haven't made a video in forever, but um, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna like go to like my favorite movies, and I'm gonna read the description for them if you guys haven't seen them. Um, I have four movies, and then I have one that's kind of like a show type thing. But I'm gonna go with my movies first. So my first favorite movie that I have, my little stack. I mean, I have more. I just don't have like the actual movie things of them, and I'm gonna be watching them. Um, I have an actual DVD player over there, but I don't have the right cord that hooks into my TV, um, because I had an old TV that had the cord thing, but I need to get a new TV for it. Um, but I have, like, a little portable DVD player that I'm probably actually going to bring on the airplane with me. Um, so I'm going to Arizona this summer, which is fun. So I'm going to be watching you on this. Okay, so my first one is Crossroads, um, and there's another... Crossroads movie that's from like 87 or something, 1987. Sorry, I just ate a banana eye and it's like kind of like clogging right there. And this is the 2002 movie, I believe. I think this is from 2002. Yeah, 2002. Um, and this has Britney Spears and who are the two other girls? I cannot think of the other two girls' names. I know what they are. They're from, like, they, you can find them in different movies. But, um, okay, there's no description. Maybe there's one on the other side. Nope, no description. Um, it's just about, like, these girls who go on a, um, trip across the United States, and they, um, stop in Arizona. You guys should really watch this movie. I really do recommend it. Um, it's just about, like, these three friends that were all, like, childhood friends that go across, like, this, the, um, do, like, this road trip or whatever. And then her, their senior year, I want to say, sh this one got pregnant. This, these, this one is, like, really popular. She's valedictorian. And they've all, like, just gone their separate ways. And then this trip brings them back together because she is going across to California. Um, and then she's, like hey, do you guys want to tag on? Because they did something in the movie. You guys have to see this. I think it's the best movie ever. I love this. And then it kind of, I wouldn't watch this with your parents because it does kind of get a little awkward. This is PG-13. So, it, it's parents strongly cautioned. And it says, some material may be appropriate for children under 13 for sexual content and brief teen drinking. So, I... If you're under 13, I would watch it with your parents. It does get a little kind of awkward in, like, one of the scenes or whatever. But nothing like that. But, yeah, I don't watch this with my mom. Um, and then my other one is The Challenge. Film. This is actually filmed in Mexico. Um, and it has Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen. And, um, what is it? Where are the descriptions of these freaking movies? Um, this is... I don't know how to explain this movie. I think there's a description somewhere. Oh, ambitious, ambitious, up light, uptight Lizzie and laid-back tree hugger Shane have to learn to live and work together and work together as a team on a popular reality adventure show. Um, a college scholarship is the prize at stake. Will the show producer use the sibling rivalry as a rating tactic? Will bring will this bring the girls closer or push them apart forever? I think you guys should watch this. The ending is super cool because they're old movies, like the like old boyfriends from old movies like come back in the past and they're like Ashley and they Mary Kate and it's really funny. I love this movie. It's so good. Okay, and then we have one of my favorite movies. Such a classic, Titanic. I love this movie. Seriously, guys, I could watch this for days. And I cry every time when the um, boat sinks because um, it's just so sad in general. Um...
Uh, nothing on earth can rival the epic spectacle and, bra and breathtaking grandeur of Titanic, the sweeping love story that sailed into hearts of of uh, there was something movie goers movie goers sorry there's something on like the back of this around the world ultimately emerging the most popular motion picture of all time this was made in 97 Leonardo DiCaprio is why I watch this I love him um and it says Leonardo DiCaprio an Oscar nominee Kate Winslet Kate Winslet Light up the screen as Jack and Rose, young lovers who find one another on a main, oh, I'm sorry, on a maiden voyage of the unthinkable RMS Titanic. But when the doomed, when the doomed luxury liner collides with an iceberg in the frigid North Atlantic, their passengers' love, love affair becomes a thrilling race for survival. Guys, if you haven't seen this, where have you been? Do you do you live in a cave? Seriously, like do you live in a cave? Like, this is, like, the most, I don't even know how to explain this movie. You guys, if you've never seen this, watch it now. I don't even, just don't even watch the end of it. Watch it. You have to watch this movie. Okay, and the last movie is Monster-in-Law. It's so good. Um, God, they put this in small writing. This has Jennifer Lawrence, Jen yeah, Jennifer Lawrence, sorry. Jennifer Lopez, Jane Fonda. Wanda Sykes, who's, uh, she's hysterical, and then Michael Vartan. Okay. But it says, Charlie, Jennifer Lopez, thought she'd never find a man of her dreams until she met Kevin. Michael. Michael Vartan, or whatever. However, poor Charlie is in for a shock when she finally meets the overly possessive mother, Viola, Jane Fonda. Determined to scare off her son, her son's new fiancé, Viola hatches a scheme... To become the world's worst mother-in-law. With the help of her loyal, wise-cracking assistant, Wanda Sykes, Viola does everything she can to break up the break up the happy couple. But when Charlie gets wise, uh, when Charlie gets wise, oh guys, this is really boring. To her scheme and decides to fight back, a wild, hysterical battle of wit begin begins. Okay, yeah. So this is a really good movie. I love this. I um, this is. This is like double or whatever. This is special features and then this is the movie. But yeah, I love this movie. Um, now I feel a part of this. That's a good movie. And then my like show or whatever is if you like to laugh and love comedy or whatever, Jeff Dunham is hysterical. He is a ventriloquist, which means like he makes the puppets talk or whatever. And this is Minding of the Monsters. I love any of his like, um, what is the... Like, there's, um, he has a bunch. Let me see. They don't have one, but. What is the, my, there's, like, one that's so, so funny. I thought they would have had some. But this is, like, the, um, Halloween one. I got this for my birthday last year, I want to say, from my mom's boyfriend. He knows I love Jeff Dunham. Um, so this was a really good present. Um, I love this. This I watched like five times. This is so, so funny, guys. I do recommend Jeff Dunham. He's really just a trip. So, that's my little movie review thing. Um, there's nothing really about this. Um, doesn't, it's just, I don't know. Yeah, so, these are just my recommendations, my favorite things. So, Bye, guys.